A group of Canadian inventors had a bright idea. Chris Thiel and his team at Hacksmith Industries in Kitchener, Ontario, created the brightest flashlight in the world. Chris joins us now from Kitchener, Ontario, to talk about this. Chris, thanks for your time tonight. No problem. Let me ask you first, why? <laughs> why? Why did we do it? Yes. Uh, honestly, we just wanted to challenge ourselves. We saw a lot of other YouTubers online making the world's biggest, you know, water gun or laser. So we thought, hey, I have expertise in LEDs and electrical design. Why not make the world's most powerful flashlight? Okay, so this oh, is now in the Guinness books, I believe. How big is the flashlight and how bright is it? <laughs> It is actually seven feet tall. It's 90 pounds, so pretty difficult to uh, manage to carry around. And it's over 500,000 lumens. So the uh, industry standard for world's most powerful flashlight that you can buy right now is 100,000 lumens in comparison. So give me an idea of how far that light goes. Oh, uh, <laughs> well... I didn't focus on making it go far in this case, but it does light up uh, the vicinity very, very well. Meaning what? Because we we're, so, we're looking at some footage here of it, I guess, on a, on a football field? Yes, yeah, yeah. So a football field, it's, it's actually mind-numbing how bright it is. We, uh, we once drove it, we attached it to the top of our car and drove it down a road, and it was so bright you couldn't really make out what you were looking at in the dark. So that's kind of the, uh, the proportion you can use to scale how bright this thing actually is. I, I take it nobody should actually look directly at the light? No, uh, it wasn't a joke in the video when we were putting on safety glasses and sunglasses and sunglasses because uh, nobody really makes safety glasses for flashlights this bright. Okay, so what is the plan? Like, what will you do with this light? Will you market it, or will it be sold, or are you, did you just do it sort of for a fun project and, and you'll keep it aside? So the purpose of uh, Hacksmith Industries is really to inspire kids to go into the uh, STEAM field, um, specifically engineering. We focus a lot on taking creations that are fictional and making them into reality and showing anybody that with a little bit of elbow grease, you can really make anything you want. So what are some of the other things you've made? Oh, we've made a lot of stuff. So last year we made the uh, world's first retractable lightsaber. And that was very exciting. Um, we're also working on something called the power loader from the Alien series, which I'm pretty impressed with. It's actually coming to a conclusion soon. And with that type of device, we'll actually be able to wield the flashlight in a more normal way, just because of how heavy it is. Okay, I think I just saw some footage of that light to say, we're clearly, it must be inspiring kids. Do you hear back? Do you get feedback on your uh, creations? Oh yeah, tons, tons of feedback on uh, YouTube specifically, but we're also on Instagram and Facebook and fans send us, uh, well, fan mail all the time. So we read that. Uh, from time to time and try and give back as much to the community as possible. What's next? What's next? Ooh. So there's some secret projects coming up, but there's also Power Loader, as I mentioned. Uh, it's going to be a pretty exciting fall, I think. We have some really heavy hitters lined up. Nothing that I can really talk about here, but they're going to be good. So you're going to want to watch and stick around. That's going to be a stay tuned for that. All right, Chris Thiel, sir, thank you for joining us. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem.